I'm standing outside of vaccination center in central Israeli city of Tel Aviv. Since the beginning of the global vaccination drive, Israel has been a world leader in vaccination per capita. The small country succeeded already to vaccinate about 85% of its population over the age of 16. To encourage people to get vaccinated and to open up the economy, people that vaccinated with two shots and already passed one week since their second shot, as well as recovered people, are receiving from the Israeli Ministry of Health a green pass that gives them the permission to sit inside dining rooms, restaurants, cafes, bars, as well as entering inside theaters, concerts, conferences, mass events with up to 1,500 people. If you have the green stamp, you can make the reservation. Uh, of course, it means about all the guests are coming to the hotel. The next step for Israel will be to facilitate an international green passport that will allow people who get already vaccinated to travel easily between countries without the need for tests or quarantine. Some countries said that they would, likewise Israel, roll out health certificates for international travelers. China said that it would implement a global mechanism of international recognition of health certificates and launch its electronic health certificate with vaccination records to ensure a safe flow of international travelers. Israel expects to reach mutual agreements regarding international green passports with China as well as more countries around the world. The concept of a green pass uh, is, is the right concept although it would have to be a standard, an international standard. For now, Israel have started doing it as, as a pioneering country in vaccination and so on. It was easier for us to get started with that. Well, the topic vaccine passport is drawing increasing attention here in the UK as more than 20 million people, about one third of the entire British population, have been vaccinated. Under the UK's roadmap of easing coronavirus lockdown, people living in England could be allowed to go on foreign holidays from mid-May. The British government has said it will discuss with the EU about the possibility of creating a vaccine passport. Southern European countries, including Spain and Greece, which rely heavily on tourism, are pushing vaccine passport ahead of the summer holidays where other countries, such as France and Belgium, have expressed concern that easing travel only for vaccinated people would be unfair. Whether or not you can go abroad or visit family abroad shouldn't be dependent on whether or not your country has had enough money to buy vaccines in advance or are able to distribute vaccines effectively or quick enough. I don't think that's fair. South Korean's health authorities have said that the country is considering follow-up measures to take when the certificate of vaccination, also called vaccination passport, for COVID-19 issued by other countries. Since most of the countries are now in an early stage of discussing the vaccination passport, as the inoculation campaign was launched not long ago, Yun Taeho, a South Korean official, said that one country cannot set the standard for entry process from overseas. Countries need to discuss ways together to determine an internationally acceptable standard. 실제적으로 한 국가에서 어떤 결정을 한다고 해서 해외 국가 관련된 부분들이 정해지는 것은 아닙니다. 이 부분은 국제적인 어떤 통용이 되는 이제 국제적인 규범의 어떤 문제와 같이 연동이 되기 때문에 여러 국가들에서 같이 논의를 통해서 전 세계적으로 어떤 어, 어, 어떤 규범들을 또 만들 필요가 있겠다라는 부분입니다.